Hello, welcome back to another video. So this is a follow-up from the first video I've done about, let me see, six weeks ago. So the Dave's Expressway has been shut for the last two months due to extension work or a slip road leading to a, a new housing development somewhere up there by Keswick Lane. I don't really care, to be honest with you. So the first video I've done was when it was sure to just fresh. It'd only just been closed. And uh, I thought I'll do an update. Seems to up this way. And I did promise an update. And it's probably the last update I'll do, to be honest with you, because I don't think I'll be up here uh, before it reopens again. Now, it's due to reopen in two weeks. We're on the 15th of October now. And apparently, it's due to open three days early. So, you know what? I thought, I'd better come up and have a little look what's, uh, well, what, what, what it's like at the moment. Just had a little issue getting through the fence there, but, you know, never mind. So, anyway, without further ado, let's get to the chopper. Get to the chopper! So, just in case anyone's watching from Mr. Cox establishment, it's not that secure. Just got to skirt over this little bridge. Tell for wagons. Oh, bit slippy. And just like that. Hello, Dearsbury Expressway. Once again. Alrighty ho. Just knock that down a bit. Let's have a little look around. Right, so, as mentioned, it's supposed to be opening in around about two weeks' time. Um, and judging by the looks of it, it doesn't look like that will be possible. But I may be wrong, but you know, I'm not an expert on these things, so... Let's just go a little bit further over. So you're looking up there towards... Well... Greenfields, and then that way is towards Manchester, and that way is towards Warrington, and then this way is back down towards Runcorn. So I've decided to take off today from Keswick Lane. Um, I haven't actually been on the expressway yet, you know, just to see if I can get on there. So maybe at the end of the video. I might just go and have a little look at it, but yeah, at the minute, I can't see this being completed in, what was it, two weeks? So, hmm, let's go a little bit further over, there's my drone, there it is, right, so, um, looks like you come off there, and we put a road, Right along up there, maybe. Yeah. And where are we? Um, I'm not sure if they've got any security on this now, because last time I come here, they didn't have anyone. And I could just walk quite freely onto the expressway without getting challenged. Did have a toilet there last time as well. Uh, what have we got here now? Just machinery. Looks like some pipe work for drains as well. Ah, oh, where are we? We're over here somewhere, I think. So we got site officers which are here. You should be able to see. Yeah, I can hear it. Here she comes. Yeah, so this is the entrance to the car park for people who actually work here. There's my car there. This is the car park. And then we have it's gained a bit of height. Yeah, 
SAIS officers are there. And then Keswick Lane, which is that way. That goes all the way up to uh, the motorways. I can hear someone coming. Someone off out for a brisk Sunday walk. Right, I'll just pull her back a bit. Yeah, so it's the 15th of October 2023 and as mentioned it's supposed to be completed within the next two weeks. Apparently opening three days early as well. So it doesn't look like much at the minute but you know who knows what'll happen in the next two or three weeks. away from this a bit. Right, where are we? Right, okay, so I think we're on the expressway now, or just near to it. Looking very apocalyptic. Oh, shit. Got my phone. We'll just pan out. Let's take a little fly up the expressway. I'll probably, at the end of the video, I'll probably try and go for a little walk up there. Because last time I walked up it, it wasn't like that. So yeah, as you can see, I'm no expert, but it doesn't look as though it's going to be completed within the next three, well, two to three weeks, I think so. Interesting. So yeah, I just thought I'd give you an update on this because I did promise an update and uh, I didn't bother going to cream fields and other things had just got in the way so I thought I'd better, it's about seeing as old, up this way today, I thought I'd better just do a quick video because I know some people liked it last time, what's that there, looks like a bit of a off ramp as the Americans call it. So we're going to get the drone down and I'm going to go possibly try and access the expressway from Run Corner and Fiddler's Ferry there. That will not be a thing on the landscape in the next two to three months, apparently. It's getting taken down. Right, we'll bring it in, and uh, what we'll do, get a couple of pictures, and I'll go somewhere else, I think. By the looks of it, I don't think there's any security on this site. Let's get it over. Got to watch for these power lines here. Right, there we go. In for a landing, sir. Here she comes. Right, here we go. Bit hard to see as well. It is bloody, bloody sunny today. Freezing cold as well. I think it was six degrees when I left the house. Right, on to the next location.
Right, so I'm at the bridge that goes over a road. Now this road leads to a village called Moor, which is basically where all the traffic that usually comes up here to go to Warrington and Manchester is now getting pushed through this tiny, tiny village, well, tiny road, I should say. And there's been numerous wagons ignoring signs that the road's been closed and going over very small canal bridges and pretty much damaging them and stuff like that. And just general traffic around this area. I mean, the roads around here, they're just not, they're not, well, they're not adequate enough to handle big heavy goods. So what I'm gonna do, as you can see, it's looking very, well, it's looking a lot different than the last time I was here. So I'm just gonna take a wander up to this machinery here. I'm just gonna do a quick flight and then I'm gonna wrap it up because uh, when I've just got in there, I don't think any traffic comes up there. So, um, and it's a Sunday, so I don't think anyone's on site unless they start late, I don't know. But we're just gonna walk up here. And um, security wise, I don't know if there's, there's signs down there saying SIA and cameras, but I don't know unless, unless they're on that on that little car parky thing where I've just been, but yeah, I'll uh, report back in a bit. Right, so all them officers are just over there. And this is a railway. It looks like put some drainage in as well. Yeah, they have. enjoy this silence we're just going to take a little flight up to where I've just been by Keswick Lane let's see what else we can see get a few pictures as well let's get a bit of height there exposure up a notch there we go righty -o. I mean I might have to I don't know yeah it's quite a long it's quite a long expressway, so let's just get a bit of height. Oh, we're there, we're there, I think. Or I think I might be able to go across here to um, this industrial park. Have a quick look up anyway. Right, Change that to normal from Sydney. What we got here? Alright, let's just get a bit. Let's get in the middle just in case the drone decides to fall. And what we're going to do, a bit of height, oops, losing a little bit of connection there. Change it to picture mode. Actually, I better just stop the recording and go into picture mode. Turn that down. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring it back because I've got a couple of connection issues here. So, I might have to just get back, get over this fence, I think. Now we Sheet. Right, there she is. Alright, 
Anyway, let's go forward. That was quite a distance, that like. Don't come on bridge there. Right, so we should be directly lined up now. Yeah, there we are. Yeah, there we go. There's me in sight. Right, bring it down. There we go. Right, what I'm going to do, I think I'm just going to skate around this fence just to get a bit closer. Right, okay. Aircraft entered altitude zone. Okay, Take no, off. Fully understand that one, love. There's a camera here on this. I don't think that's anything to do with security. That must be. No GPS flyer caution. Ooh, ooh. Oh my god. The home point yeah, has been yeah. updated. Please check it on the map. Right, a little bit of height. Let's go up a little bit. If I remember rightly as well, last time I come here it was quite windy. So, but we're not going to go very far because I've got the footage I wanted. Just going to have a look at the ground we're here. So, that's where I've just been. Over there. And there's the officers to Mr. Cox and Co. Um, as you can see, that's what the state of play looks like now. Let's go a little bit further up. Keep the drone in sight. So I was going to go up to by the labs, but it's uh, it's much more fun down here, should we say? I think last time the toilet was about there, but since then they've installed the more offices and stuff like that. So, yep. So that's just a quick look at the site at the moment. As I say, it is the 15th of October and it's been shut now for quite a considerable amount of weeks. Two months or something like that. So they briefly opened for green fields and now it's... Uh, you know, have we got here? I can see that little walkway. There's a drone, I don't a tree. Little walkway down there. Yeah, it just leads to the car park and stuff like that. So, I'll get a couple of pictures and then I'll end this video. Uh, I probably will not do another update. Um, depends if I'm up this way or not. So, I've got quite a lot of things to do and get through. So. Uh, probably the next time I'll come up here the road will probably be open so I will definitely be not be flying over the road then so yeah that was just a little update right so as I said that'll be the last time I'm probably up that way or last time I get to walk on that expressway before the traffic comes hurtling down there again and the accidents start because as we know there's accidents there every bloody week so just before I go I'd like to thank people who donated coffees last month and also super chat as well Joe Robertson thank you very much uh, all money does go back into the channel, so thank you very much guys for that. Uh, back out in Liverpool again next week. I think Eric's going to join me, possibly Adam, so we've got a lot to crack on with. It was just today that a bit of a bonus thought I'd, I'd um, stick to me way and do an update on this expressway. So yeah, as always, cheers for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video. It is a little bit slippy that wood. Oh. No problem. No problem or just have to negotiate this bridge. No problem. And there we go. All that's left me to say is it a big thanks to George Cox celebrating 75 years, established in 1947. Thank you very much for the content, my friend. See you all again.